purple Peruvian, ruby crescent, and Russian banana are all varieties of fingerling potatoes. And while the range of colors, sizes, and shapes are fun, they represent a basic cooking problem because they won't all cook at the same rate. So Elle's here today to show us a universal way to cook them one and all. That's right. You can't just throw fingerling potatoes on a roasting pan in a hot oven. Nope. It won't work well. As you said, fingerling potatoes vary in size. So the key to cooking them is making sure that they've all reached the same doneness at the same time. Yeah, that's not easy to do. Not at all. Fingerling potatoes are often mistaken for new potatoes when in reality they are a mature variety of potatoes potatoes that offer a beautiful earthy nuttiness. Mm -hmm. So in the test kitchen, we've tried cooking these on a sheet tray tossed in oil at 450 degrees, but they dried out because the temperature was too high and the oil had a tendency to clump up on the sheet pan. That's right. The oil stains the sheet pan and no matter how hard you scrub, you can't get that off. You can't get it off. But we found that steaming the potatoes worked well for the skins and for the proper doneness. And the way we did that was by using a 13 by nine baking pan. So first we're gonna put the potatoes in the pan. This is two pounds of fingerling potatoes scrubbed clean. To them, I'm gonna add three tablespoons of vegetable oil. And now again, you could use any variety of fingerling potato here, such as Russian Peruvian or Ruby Crescent. That's right. Okay. All right, so the oil's in. I'm just gonna give it a toss. We just have to make sure they're fitting snugly in the pan and flat to the surface. Yeah, so it's a single layer, but they are cramped. This cramping is actually gonna work in our favor because they're gonna bathe in the steam of their friends that they're so close <laughs> to, and the steam is gonna give us even doneness. So I'm just gonna cover it tightly with foil. It's gonna go in the oven at 450 degrees on the middle rack for 15 minutes. Okay. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. I'll take this foil off. Mm. Those are beautiful. Oh, look at all that steam. All right, so these look great. I'm just gonna give them a shake. These need to go for another 20 minutes. I'm gonna come back and give them a shake about halfway through, and they'll be ready when they're spotty brown. Okay. Yeah. So, let's work on the extra special part of these fingerling potatoes. That's the herbs. <laughs> I have fresh sage. I'm gonna chop it. We're looking for about two teaspoons of sage. So I also have some thyme here and I'm also looking for two teaspoons. All right, that looks great. So I'm going to put these herbs together and I'm gonna cut into it a half a teaspoon of salt. You're making seasoned salt. That's right. Chopped fresh herbs can really stick to your fingers, but with that salt in there, it'll make them easier to sprinkle. All right, perfect. So I'm just gonna put these in a bowl and set them aside for a potato. So today we're using fresh sage and thyme to flavor our salt, but we have lots of other flavoring variations which you can find on our website. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. Let's Ooh. take a look. Those smell like really good roasted potatoes. Oh, they're beautiful. Nice and spotty brown. They're gorgeous. I'm just gonna test these for doneness. I'm gonna use the tip of my paring knife, starting with the larger ones. And if the knife goes in easily as it has, then they're done. So I'm just gonna go into the bowl with these. And I wanna use all the oil that we had in the pan. That's gonna help for our herbs to stick. Okay. All right, I'm gonna sprinkle our thyme and sage and salt. All right, give it a good toss. Oh, that smells good. Yeah, that's divine. Oh, goodness. Okay, so let's platter them up. I know you'd be tempted to eat these right now. But I very <laughs> much am tempted. They're beautiful. They need at least five minutes to okay. roll. Hot potato. Yes. All right, so it's been five minutes. I am ready to eat these potatoes. Me too. I don't know about you. <laughs> this is my here. kind of meal, just potatoes. Okay. Oh, look how fluffy the insides are. Oh yeah. That skin is so thin, wow. it, you almost can't detect it. It's barely there. And the potato is so tender. Perfectly it's cooked. All the way through. It's like a mini baked potato, but the skin is nice and tender. I think this is my favorite herb combination. They're not overpowering, they're just fragrant. That's right. And every potato has flavor. Mm-hmm. Oh, these are terrific, great Thanks. recipe. Thank you so much. So there you have it. If you wanna make the best roasted fingerling potatoes, crowd them into a baking pan, toss with a little oil, and cover tightly with aluminum foil. Put them in a 450 degree oven for 15 minutes, then remove the foil and let roast for about 20 minutes longer. Before serving, simply toss with a mixture of fresh herbs and salt and let them rest for five minutes. From America's Test Kitchen to your kitchen, the final word on roasted fingerling potatoes.
Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.